the very best fighters in the world and two of the best fighters in the welterweight division whose styles are going to mesh, I think, um, really, really well and, and, and make for a super Sports greatest champions facing off against one another for the welterweight title. Um, and as Lou said, it's a card that's totally stacked. Um, we've got local talent, uh, and they're all 50 50 fights. And, and that's truly what defines uh, Brooklyn boxing. Um, Danny and Sean, uh, welcome back. Uh, Brooklyn loves you both, and you know you both have played a huge role in the emergence of the Brooklyn boxing brand, so thank you both very much. Um, Adam, you and Amanda uh, are kind of carrying the torch uh, for Brooklynites, so welcome back. Um, when Amanda gets here, I'll welcome her as well. Uh, Charles, glad to have you back. And if I remember correctly, I think you um, became a world champion in our ring. So uh, welcome back to Brooklyn. Um, you're Dennis uh, and Cesar, welcome to Brooklyn for the first time. Uh, you're in for an electric um, atmosphere on Saturday night. I don't think there's anything like being in Brooklyn on fight night. You know, as we celebrate our 30th fight, I'm wanting to make an announcement tonight, and we'll put out a press release a little later today, but I'm proud to announce that the Barclays Center has been named officially as of today the official East Coast venue for the PBC. Um, we will be exclusive here in New York when it comes to P PBC fights, and rather than being asked the question, no, you'll never see a PBC fight at the Garden, okay? Um, only in Brooklyn. The, um, the PBC will bring the biggest and best fights on the East Coast to our ring. Uh, we will host a minimum of eight major big PBC fights a year. And um, a press release is forthcoming. We'll, we'll, we'll give that out to you uh, today. I first and foremost want to thank the PBC. Uh, the relationship we have built over 15 fights together is invaluable. And this announcement today solidifies our shared goals in continuing to provide the best platform possible for the sport. Uh, with PBC's recently renewed partnership with Showtime Sports, alongside a multi-year deal with Fox and FS1, it's truly an exciting time for the entire sport of boxing. Um, we're not a subscription platform. Um, what the PBC announced this week is unprecedented. Um, we're going to reach the masses, unprecedented promotion and support, and most of all, our great athletes that make up the PBC will be brought to homes all across this country, and in some respects for the first time. Because what this sport needs is promotion. Um, and I think Fox, as well as Showtime, who's been at it for years, is going to provide just that. I want to congratulate, although he's not here with us today, Stephen Espinosa and his staff at Showtime. I mean, they've done an incredible job for the sport and obviously announced um, you know, recently their uh, continued relationship with the PBC. Um, obviously, we welcome Fox and FS1 into the sport in a bigger and better way. Um, Lou DeBell and his team have been terrific, and Lou, thanks for all your support in making today possible for the Barclays Center, but for you know, promoting just world-class events in, at our venue. Uh, I look forward to seeing everyone uh, later uh, this week, Saturday night in Brooklyn. As Lou said, the, the tickets are going really fast. Uh, it should be a packed house, electric, and um, it's what Brooklyn Boxing is all about. Thank you very much. Um, as Brett noted, Stephen Espinosa had a family emergency, so he's not with us today. Um, you know, there, was, there were big announcements this week and, and groundbreaking announcements uh, for Premier Boxing Champions about their new relationship with, with Fox, um, which I think is going to be a great thing for boxing fans and for big time boxing's visibility and promotion and marketing. Um, but Showtime is remaining uh, an industry leader in the boxing industry and announced themselves last week a continued relationship with Premier Boxing Champions. And I think you're going to see more of this type of show on Showtime, a, a continuance of, of the Premier Boxing telecasts on premium cable. And um, to talk about that, I'd like to bring up the Senior Vice President of Showtime Boxing, Steve, uh, Chris de Blasio. Thank you, Lou. 
uh, Lou stole a bit of my lead here, so uh, we'll, we'll skip ahead and keep this brief. I know we want to hear from the fighters. We're excited for this Saturday for sure. So, you know, there's a bit of a renaissance happening in the boxing industry. Um, the Fox output deal with PBC, PBC's agreement with the Barclays Center, and of course uh, our long-term relationship being solidified last week with our announcement of a three-year commitment, um, and I think it'll continue long after that as well. Um, as Lou had mentioned, we, we have established ourselves as a leader in the industry, and we're all really, really proud of that. Um, and I think I, I speak on behalf of Stephen and all of our staff when I say how proud we are to be leading the biz. Um, it's an incredible time for boxing, and our, our commitment uh, has been and will continue to be second to none. Um, over the past several years, we have uh, delivered the largest slate of live boxing events on television. Uh, we have the most pivotal matchups in boxing's deepest divisions. There's no other entity that's put as many resources, both financially and editorially, behind the, the sport and the growth. Um, and our relationship with the PBC and in a large part with the Barclays Center, we do so many events with them, um, it, it has fostered that growth. Um, in 2018 alone, Showtime has delivered 26 live boxing events, 22 world title fights. That's far more than anyone else. Um, and it's not just the quantity, but it's the quality. Fight of the year contenders, Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz earlier this year at Barclays Center. Uh, Ares Landi Lara versus Jared Hurd was an incredible bout. Adana Stevenson and Badu Jack had a war. We've had three world title unification fights. We've had four women's world title fights so far. And there's more to come, most notably Saturday night. This will be our fourth Showtime Championship boxing event at the Barclays Center just this year. It is our 19th overall in the building out of the, the 30 that Brett mentioned. That's a, uh, an, an incredibly uh, strong number, two-thirds already. Um, we're proud of our collaboration with Brett Yormark and his team at Barclays. We think that we have done uh, work together to contribute to elevate the experience both in the arena and for fans watching on TV. Saturday's main event. This is a 50-50 matchup. It's one that's been predicted by legends Manny Pacquiao and Ray Leonard, as well as contemporaries Keith Thurman and Mikey Garcia as an all-action, exciting fight. Hard to pick a winner. This will be our eighth matchup of consensus top five ranked opponents on Showtime just this year. That's a remarkable number of top champions facing their top challengers. It's a trend that's proven to be contagious amongst the PBC fighters, and we've all enjoyed watching and the benefits of that. Together, Danny Garcia and Sean Porter have fought, uh, have been presented by our team at Showtime 20 times. We've seen them come of age, earn world titles, achieve stardom, and even survive dramatic razor-thin setbacks. Now they're headed for what is arguably the biggest night of their, their careers. In all, we'll present six, world, six fights on Saturday Night Live, each significant in its own right. The three Showtime Championship boxing bouts will begin live at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific, and we have three preliminary fights airing on our social media channels beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific. We have two rising stars on our countdown show, and we have one potentially record-setting world title fight featuring Amanda Serrano. So, like so many before it, Saturday's fight card is a can't-miss event. We look forward to bringing it to you, and we look forward to helping to lead this renaissance for many years to come. Thank you, and good luck to all you fighters. Before we get to the main Showtime fights, there is a terrific undercard uh, yet again on the show. Um, there's some terrific fights off of television and, and terrific talent, um, including undefeated fighters Jeffrey Torres and Dylan Price from Philadelphia. Um, undefeated, and his first time in, on the mainland at Pro Fight. Um, from the Virgin Islands, Olympian, stepson of Julian Jackson, Clayton Warren. Clayton, stand up. <laughs> heavyweight, obviously a heavyweight. Um, Cordell Booker, undefeated out of Brooklyn, New York, and we, on every one of our shows, had a presence from Brooklyn and from the five boroughs, from fighters that have represented New York in the Golden Gloves and, and, and tried to create a local flavor. Um, on that note, Chris Colbert, rising star from Brooklyn, New York, 8-0 in the featherweight division. And both Chris and Richardson Hitchens um, will be on the Showtime stream that begins at 7 p.m., as, as Chris de Blasio said. I also want to acknowledge uh, the young lady that's fighting Amanda Serrano for the 140-pound 
WBO junior welterweight, but the junior welterweight championship is 140 pounds, but it's the 140 pound title of the WBO, um, Yamila Reynoso, who is also here. Um, and then I'm going to bring up to represent the undercard, uh, but also to represent women's boxing, and we've done this on every show we've done um, under the Brooklyn Boxing Banner, and PBC's done it on every show we've done in the New York area. There's been a premier female fighter on the card, and on Saturday night it's going to be no different. It might be a little different because this female fighter at 29 years old on Saturday night will likely well, I'm not going to say we're likely because I can't look past any of them, and this is a tough fight with a much, much bigger woman. Um, but she's going after her sixth world championship in her sixth weight division. That's only been done in the history of boxing by Manny Pacquiao and Oscar De La Hoya. She's 29 years old, and if she does that on Saturday night, she's likely cementing her Hall of Fame, and I saw a trophy in here, her Hall of Fame credentials, uh, in my view. I'd like to bring up... Um, Ring Magazine calls her the second best female fighter in the world, pound for pound. Um, I call her the best female fighter in the United States. Um, no offense to Clarissa Shields, who's a great fighter. Um, she just has to earn some more stripes. Um, the great Amanda Serrano. Wow, thank you, Devella. <laughs> I always get nervous at these things. I never, never in the ring, only here. <laughs> but I want to thank um, the Bella Showtime and um, Barclay Center again for allowing me um, to have this great opportunity to make history again. Um, love you guys. I'm going to put on a hell of a show like I always do. Definitely want to thank my team, my trainer, Jordan Maldonado, my publicist from Puerto Rico, Fernando, who's always making sure my face is out in Puerto Rico. Thank you, Fernando. And um, my best foreign partner, my sister, Cindy Serrano. Um, she's the best, and if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. But come Saturday night, I'm super excited. Uh, Sixth Division, that's, um, that's up there with, uh, with two of the greatest men, De La Hoya and Pacquiao. And I'm more than honored to be um, a part of that crew. And um, I just have to say, I want all my titles by knockout, so i got to keep that trend going. <laughs> so come Saturday night, it's going to be a great night. Um, thank Jamila, and they also for taking this fight. You know, she's a big girl, but um, I'm tough, and I want that Sixth Division. And thank you, thank you all for coming. But come in and come Saturday night, it's going to be a great night of fights. <laughs> and now I get to hand it over to one of my buddies, one of the voices of Showtime Boxing, but also one of the voices of everything else if you watch sports television, the great Brian Custer. <laughs> It's a fantastic job by the promoters uh, promoting such a high quality fight that we're going to have on Showtime Championship Boxing come Saturday night. You got two of the best in the business. You talk about Lou Devella and Tom Brown and Brittany Goosen is here as well. I think I saw her walking around here doing a phenomenal job promoting this fight. I uh, love Lou Devella a lot. Uh, Lou Devella gave me my first job in combat sports, so I'm always grateful to Lou Devella. Uh, love him like a father. Appreciate you, Lou. Uh, Brett Yormark, he's talked about the Barclays Center. You know, I like to s describe the Barclays Center whenever we have events there as the new mecca of boxing. And that's the reason why they've signed that great deal with the PBC. Congratulations, Brett, and what you've done with the Barclays Center. Now let's get down to the fight and let's hear from the fighters. Triple header of fights that are coming away on Showtime Championship Boxing on Saturday night. Uh, you, we talked about Amanda, but Amanda, uh, one thing I wanted to ask you is you talk about a six world title, six different weight divisions. You heard the two names, Oscar, Manny Pacquiao. They're the only fighters, male or female, to have accomplished something like that. If you're successful Saturday night, what would that mean to you to be in that class? Yeah, well, I mean everything. Like I said before, it's a great honor to be there. And um, I hope uh, I'm doing something great for female boxing in the future. You know, if it's not for me, I hope it's for the young girls coming up in the sport. I hope I can continue to uh, break down these bar barriers and open these doors for these young women. And hopefully I can submit my name in the Hall of Fame. Thank you, Amanda. Now we get down to the televised version of the evening. 
And we're going to start things off in the heavyweight division. And you have a former world champion in Charles Martin taking on Adam Kovnowski and Adam, an undefeated fighter, fighting out of Brooklyn. And Adam, you're facing a former champion. You've passed basically every test that's been placed in front of you. Um, do you think this fight puts you on the scene nationally if you're victorious Saturday? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, after Saturday night, everybody will know my name. Adam Kovnatsky is going to be on everybody's lips. This is the next great heavyweight in America. If you're victorious Saturday, will this be your statement win to this point in your career? Yeah, I think last year my fight against uh, Arthur Spruka was advertising, and uh, this will be the main course. His opponent. The former IBF heavyweight champion of the world, Charles Martin. And Charles, I know you're looking to regain that title, regain the boxing public's respect again after your time away. You've had a couple of comeback tune-ups. But do you think a win over an undefeated fighter like Adam proves that Charles Martin is back and ready to compete at the highest level in the heavyweight division? Absolutely. I'm going to go in there and put on a show Saturday and put myself back in where I need to be. Deontay Wilder will be there. He'll be at the fight and watching. What's the message you're trying to send to the heavyweight division come Saturday night? That I'm here. Yep. I belong here. That would be the first fight of the night. And then we go to what we call our co-main event. And you've got welterweights. You're Dennis Ugas taking on Cesar Barrio Nuevo. And Cesar, let's start with you. This will be your first fight here in the States. What are you hoping a win over a fighter like Ugas on a national network like Showtime will do for you? Samson Lukowicz will do the translation. Era tu primer combate en, en Estados Unidos. ¿Qué piensas que vas a hacer con Ugas en, en, en una emisora como Showtime que es eh, total en todas las naciones? Bueno, eh, buenas tardes, buenas tardes a todos los presentes. Buenas tardes, buenas tardes, everyone. Eh, muy contento de estar, eh, ser partícipe digamos, de, de tal evento, de tal magnitud, así que bueno, y eh, muy feliz, eh, agradecido con John Pan y con el doctor Sánchez Mikovic por la gran oportunidad. Y sin duda va a ser una gran pelea, quiero que sea una gran presentación. Y bien la presentación, Carl. Estoy preparado para dar un gran show y que la gente quede conforme. Un gran, gran show y estoy listo para performar. Dennis, me gusta llamarte uno de los hombres más peligrosos y luchadores en esa división de la Liga de la Liga. You just continue to roll after win, roll up win after win after win. Um, do you believe, though, this win over Barrio Nuevo finally gets you that title shot against one of the big boys at 147 pounds? <laughs> La gente le gusta ver si seguís peleando, tú sigues ganando, ganando, de, a, pelea atrás pelea. Um, ¿Tú crees que una ganada contra este oponente te pone a frente en esta división con la pelea que tú quieras? Eh, no, buenas tardes a todos. Gracias a la policía Chontai por aportar por mí. Eh, vamos a una gran pelea de sábado. Eh, Barrio Nuevo es un gran peleador. Eh, estamos hoy en un honor pelear en la batalla de Dan Chang grande de campeón, el grande peleador y el sábado pienso que mostrar todo mi talento y va a ser una gran pelea. I want to thank PBC, I want to thank Showtime. Um, it's an honor to be a part of such a big card at the Barclays Center. Um, and Saturday he's just going to come and do what, he, what he used to do. He's coming to win um, and he's coming to put on a great performance and the rest could take care of itself. Do you believe a victory 
will finally give you that world title shot. ¿Tú crees que una ganada te, te finalmente te va a dar un, una pelea para el título? Bueno, pienso que eh, hace dos años soy uno de los peleadores más, más consistentes y activos del deporte. Eh, pienso que estoy en la puerta de un campeonato, pero el sábado tengo algunos negocios que atender y, y después el sábado entonces hablamos. Uh, he thinks he's been the most consistent fighter for the past two years. Um, again, he's going to come put on a great performance on Saturday, and, and the rest will, will handle itself. And now we come to the main event. Two former world champions fighting for the vacant WBC welterweight title. A title that was vacated by Keith Thurman in April. Danny Garcia. The former WBC welterweight champion taking on Showtime Sean Porter, the former IBF welterweight champ. These are two fighters who basically have been orbiting around each other for quite some time, and now we've got the fight. Danny, I'll ask you, uh, started off with you, and I'll ask you a question that I asked Sean, had Sean on the desk last month. Um, both you and Sean are so similar, former world champions both trained by your fathers, both had that fight, close fight with Keith Thurman. What separates you from Sean Porter? <clears throat> you know, first of all, I want to thank God. You know, I want to thank my team, uh, Team Garcia. I want to thank, you know, Al Heyman, Showtime. Um, what separates me from Showtime? Uh, Sean Porter is, you know, I just feel like I'm a, I'm a better fighter. You know, I'm a better all-around fighter. And, um, you know, I just feel like I'm a better fighter, and that's it. Sean, uh, generally, fight fans, when you talk to them about the welterweight division, the two names they say at the top, they'll say Terrence Crawford, they'll say Errol Spence Jr. Kind of forget about Keith Thurman because he's been so uh, inactive. But do you believe the winner of this fight changes that train of thought and that thinking? Most definitely. And especially the way that I'm going to win this fight is, is, is going to be, you know, when, when I, when I do do this man next to me and how it's done and when I win, there's no, you're going to be wondering whether, the, whether or not those guys can beat me. Whether or not, you know, those guys can really have what it takes to beat me. And, um, you know, that's, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to put on a great show. I'm here to win this championship and do in a fantastic form. Danny, um, there's been this narrative out there that since you've moved up and been a welterweight that they say Danny Garcia cherry picks his opponents. You heard Keith Thurman try to use that. I saw uh, a skit that Sean Porter used doing the same thing. He kind of mocked you about it. Respond to that criticism. Well, I'm a cherry picker. Maybe I make you a cherry. <laughs> See, there you think. I don't have to say much about that. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, it's a good response. Um, <laughs> Vegas has Danny as the slight betting favorite to win Saturday night. So give me your thoughts on you going into this fight, ironically, as the underdog considering this is a guy who, as you say, cherry picks his opponents. I just want to use two. Uh, I know people have more money than me before, and it wasn't because I was the, the, the guy I expected to win. You know, so there's going to be a lot of people out there winning a lot of money, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing what it, what it takes for them to get paid. Uh, this is what I do, and I love it, you know. Um, and as I said on the video, you couldn't find a, a cherry for Saturday. You can even want to put bull. You know that. Danny, um, this is going to be for both of you. Our Steve Farhood had an interview with Keith Thurman. You both have fought him. He rated both of you guys. He said, ring IQ, even. Chin, even. But he leans towards Porter by a decision. Your thoughts? You know, that's his personal opinion. Um, like I said before, my style is completely way different than Shaw. I mean, Keith Thurman. So, so you can't really go by that. You know, styles me fights. I'm a different type of fighter than um, Keith Thurman. 
Um, I know I'm the better boxer than um, Sean Porter. You know, I'm just gotta go in there Saturday night and improve it. Let it all hang up. Let my nuts hang. <laughs> you coming with the responses there? <laughs> Sean, your thoughts on Keith Thurman's prediction? Yeah, I mean, he's right. Styles, styles make fights. Uh, I, I know that's an unbiased opinion by, by Keith, so I, I respect it. Even if he had said he thought Daniel would win, I still would respect it because he's been in the room with both of us. He knows what both of us have. And uh, even outside of that, he, he, he understands boxing. And uh, so I, I respect his decision. Um, I think one way or another, I'm, I'm going to win this fight. Whether it's decision, knockout, I'm ready to do whatever. Ever it takes to win this fight. I told you before, man, there's nothing I've ever wanted in my life, in my entire life. I'm 30 years old. There's nothing I've ever wanted more than this. And with that being said, I'm out there to take it. Taking the nuts. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> hey, hey, basically, I'm taking any, any and everything he's coming with, I'm taking it. It's mine. Hey, I'm trying to have more kids, bro. <laughs> Don't hit me with no low blows, hey. please. Hey. <laughs> that hurt, feel me? That, that hurt. You just hey. hey, that, whatever it takes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't run my wildest thing in dreams, and I think we're gonna go there today. But okay, yeah. I'm with it. Um, I told you, I'm trying to have fun. Absolutely. <laughs> that sound, it's a weird fun, bro. <laughs> Danny, let's uh, let's get back to the fight. <laughs> This is for that vacant WBC, that green belt. You had it. Um, and in fact, I, I was looking over your record. If I'm not mistaken, your first world title was a WBC belt. And you did that at 140. What would it mean to you to have that strap again? Oh, it means the world to me. Um, wow. you know, it's, a, it's a new chapter in my career. It's a new chapter in my career. Um, I've been in a lot of great fights. I've been in a lot of tough fights. You know, I'm a seasoned boxer. I'm a seasoned champion. And um, just regaining something that was mine. You know, it's like a it's like a lily. You know, steals your much money. You can't wait to get him back. And then when you finally beat his ass, it's like, yeah, I knew I was, you know, I knew I was the man. You tried to pick on me because I was quiet. You know what I mean? So it just felt like one of those moments where I just kind of proved myself that, you know, I'm still the best fighter in the world. My follow-up to that is, and I, I talked with Sean about this, Errol Spence Jr. says that he's been promised the winner of this fight. If you're victorious, do we see a unification fight of Danny Garcia and Errol Spence Jr. in 2019? Well, absolutely. You know, if the money's right, you know, if the, like I said, we probably the biggest fights, the biggest money movies. Um, I'm going to put in my career where, you know, this will be my fourth world title, so let the money start talking. You know, I deserve it. I face everyone they put in front of me. You know, right now it's just all about, you know, the money, the money. I got a family to feed. I want to have more kids. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, you were once the IBF welterweight champion. Now you get this WBC belt. You have the opportunity to secure that around your waist. What would that mean to you? It means the world to me. Why is that? Um, this is my goal. Um, I'm a very goal-oriented person. I set goals. I accomplish my goals. It's what I do. It's a part of me. It's a part of who I am. So um, I didn't know when this fight, when I was going to be able to fight for this WBC title. And um, you know, as soon as this fight was announced for the WBC, yes, it's finally here. This is my, my opportunity. I'm going to get it. More so than the IBF belt. Yes. Um, this this goal was set after the IBF title. Um, I just feel like that this 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 WBC title has so much lineage and some so much wrapped around it. And for me to want to be a part of that, be a part of that WBC family, that's what I'm going after. We'll wrap it up with this. Give you a final comment on what should fight fans expect sure. Saturday night when they turn in the Showtime Championship yeah. boxing. Expect Danny Garcia to have the shortest ass um, new chapter of, of his life Saturday night. It's the shortest chapter he's ever had. It's, it's going down Saturday in that fight. That, that, that belt's going back to, to, to Vegas with me. Danny? Shortest ass and taking nuts. <laughs>
I don't know what to say. <laughs> nah, I mean, uh, you know, I feel good. I feel good. This is not new to me. This is not new to me. I've been perform performing at this level for a long time. I put in the hard work. You know, it's been a real hot summer. You know, I missed my daughter's first day of school, got a day preschool, so I'm sacrificing. You know what I mean? So, um, I feel good, man. And come Saturday night, I'm going to get this victory. Because I'm a better fighter and I'm a true champion. There you have it. That will be the main event on Showtime Championship Boxing. I'm going to have these fighters face off now and take some pictures. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Best of luck to you Saturday night. It's <laughs> crazy. All right, Danny and Sean, right here on the side.